How long until we reach Zamasti? Sky looks clear, so we'll probably hit land tomorrow. I'm going to lie down. She's all yours until then. All right, see ya. The world of Ambrose is no stranger to calamity. Ten years have passed since the fall of Heaven's Door, an epic tower that flooded the earth. Now Dylan and his father set sail to the newly emerged kingdom of Zamasti on a quest to gather information. Little does Dylan know of what is about to unfold. Wait, what's... Whoa. Uh, hello? You still alive? Hello? Can you talk? Yes. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> it's not often a woman just falls from the sky. So what's your name? I'm Dylan. Name? I don't know. You don't know your own name? What about are you from? Oh? Where am I? You're on a boat heading for Zamasti. I guess I just happened to be in the right spot, huh? Otherwise, you'd just be floating in the ocean right now. Hmm. Perhaps you should come with Zemeti with me. Maybe somewhere that someone there can help you out. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. We can't get there without ha you having a name, though. Uh, let's see, you're a woman that fell from the sky, so how about Astrea? Astray. Astray. Astray, okay. We'll reach Zemes Zemeti by tomorrow. In the meantime, you should rest. I doubt that fall was good for your back. I doubt it was too. Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is the beginning of Night Eternal, a new, it was released yesterday uh, for Steam. It is a new um, JRPG modern retro game and I thought I'd check it out and show it off to you guys a little bit here. Look like we're here. It's hot. Well, yeah, we're in the desert. At least there's an oasis nearby. Anyway, the castle's up ahead. We should look around first, buy you some equipment, then go meet the queen. I'll lead the way. Okay, so let's get going and see what, what mischief we can get into. Not often we get visitors around here. Welcome. Okay. Well, that is a very deserty area, eh? We got a nice little inn going on. It's a miracle we managed to survive under the ocean for so long. It's been 10 years since we resurfaced and it still feels like yesterday. Oh, that was kind of crazy. You've been under the ocean for 10 years? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, antidote, ether, rays, okay. Okay, well, we don't have, I don't think we have any money. We have 40 G. We have 40 G's. Uh, do we have anything to sell? I don't think so. Uh, probably not. And we'll probably, welcome, it's 4 G for one night. Want to stay? No, I don't. I am all healed up right now. So let's uh, see what else we can find around here. I have been getting into uh, Dungeons and Dragons a lot recently, so I figured we could play a nice little RPG and maybe do some talking about Dungeons and Dragons. We'll see. We'll have to get through all this stuff. Students speak. 
student? Speak to my students if you want to know the basics of combat. I can't read. That's going to be a hard, hard thing to do voices if I can't read. I, I played a few uh, RPGs and JRPGs over the time, so I think I could probably figure out the basics of combat. Oh, yeah. I found 40 Gs already. Sweet. Go in here. What do we got? Welcome to the Church of Zamaste. Here you may pray to our Lord Zamas for strength. Well, you got a back door here. I wonder what your back. It's locked. Oh man! Ooh, there's somebody talking right there. He does not answer prayers, but we must pray anyways. If we're lucky, he may spare us when the time comes for his reckoning. That's kind of uh, um, ominous. Let's see what we got. Go a little sword area, sword. Uh, Weapon shop? What do we got over here? Okay, we got bronze. Do we have nothing equipped? It looks like. So, we'll get a... Um, that, I think, would help us both out. So, if we got a couple of those, I wonder if that would help her out more. Mm, it looks like he would probably... No... I don't know. He gets ag agility and a luck off the knife, but the bronze, I'm assuming sword, is taking that off. And then his power is not as good. Well, the power is negative one for the knife as well. Um, Buckler, okay, so we get some of these, which would be nice. So let's get, I guess, a couple hats. Oh, we don't want 11, we want two. Um, a couple bucklers, maybe, and let's just go ahead and get... Yeah, wait. Max magic power. Max hit points, max, max magic power. I wonder what the power is there. I'm gonna do a knife for him, and then a sword for her. That's almost all my money, though. I would really like to figure out... Oh, there we go. Well, there is skills. There's a skill tree, so it's almost like a like an RPG and a JRPG put together because it is turn-based um, attack style. So let's equip Dylan with now optimize. Okay, yeah. Oh, he had he had a elf. Yeah, maybe that would be better to stick with that. Agility, luck, a power. I'm not sure. If let's leave the. I think he started with the that. Oh, he has a spell too. Ice spell. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the weapon on him. Um, or that. And we're going to optimize her with what I have. I think the best thing to do would to be leave that uh, bow on him. Uh, formation. Okay, there we go. Hey, let's go ahead and save. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to quit already. So we got some weapons and armor. We still need to talk to probably a bunch of people. And go in and do some other stuff. We buy more stuff? Are these like more... Cure, cure one, smite one, fire, ice, bolt, impale. So this looks like maybe scrolls we could buy. Well, let's go ahead and get smite sounds good and fire sounds good. That would be like all my magic po po points though. Um, can I do magic? Um, can I equip magic? Equip a spell, smite, and fire. There we go. There we go. Okay, not too bad. I think we're getting somewhere here. At least we're getting suited up for battle, which is good. We got a few more uh, spells in our in our repertoire, which is good. Let's go see what the queen has to offer. Uh, there is a lot of stuff, and I probably won't just go randomly talk to everybody, though. Greeting, 
Greetings, travelers! You may introduce yourselves. It's a pleasure to be here. I am Dylan, and this is my friend Estrella. Welcome to Zemeti, Dylan, and Estrella. What brings you to my kingdom? I've wanted to visit Zemeti ever since I heard about it. Is it true that your kingdom was underwater? Yes. During our war with Helonia 300 years ago, Zemati was banished to the ocean and placed in status. Our status ended and we ascended to the surface just 10 years ago. We've spent much of this time rebuilding and reestablishing the kingdom. I see, thank you. I also came here to help my friend. She has lost her memory, you see. Do you recognize her? I do not, but I must say she is quite beautiful. Your name is Estrella, correct? Ah, uh, yes? Your beauty almost rivals my daughter. I wish you luck in regaining your lost memory. Now then, Dylan, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you a few questions. My queen. Oh, that was, okay. Sometimes reading, you gotta pay attention. Goliath, why are you interrupting us? Uh, and the princess, you see, I've lost her. I probably should do voices. I'm not very good at voices. I try. It's fun. But uh, please don't roast me for them. Oh, where did you lose her, Goliath? She wanted to go for a walk outside the castle walls. And I only looked away for a minute. And pray tell, Goliath, why are you here instead of looking for her yourself? Uh, well, I was hoping for some backup. Estrella and I would be honored to aid your search for the princess. Aye, we don't need help from foreigners. A few soldiers is all I need. I will accept your help, young Dylan. Accompany Goliath and find my daughter. My queen, are you sure about this? Yes, Goliath, take them to the cave northeast. She was forbidden to go there. So that's likely where she went. Aye, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, daughter, I have a daughter. Yeah, you tell her not to do something, she's right off and gonna do it. We've got no time to spare. Let's go. Okay, well, we got three people in our party. We're heading off. Um, something that I always thought was interesting about these games, and a lot of games in general, was the idea of, you know, in D&D, you roll a lot of stuff. And now not so much in like platformers or other games similar to that, but in a lot of role-playing games, especially um, like JRPGs, it rolls quite a bit. Every time you try to attack, every time, I mean, it's rolling damages for the attacks and that, you know, the, the actual hit points that hit. Um, so let's do a fire on the roses. That sounds... Rose A gets a fire. Uh, she's gonna attack, I guess. Rose B and then Goliath. Does he has no skills, no magic? I guess he's gonna attack Rose B as well. I'm thinking that the fire might do a lot of damage to it. That's why I'm thinking here. But now these people are doing quite a bit of damage to me. Oh. Um. That magic actually did a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and throw the um, Lyoth. There we go. Let's do that. I think the fire, the fire ripped up that row. Oh, okay. Not as good as I would have hoped, but eh, we're going to get him killed here. It looks like uh, let's just go ahead and attack. I don't need to waste my magic on this last little rose. I think. Oh, there you go. Air victory. 48 experience and eight gold found. So as you're playing and, uh, you know, there is a role for random encounters, obviously there are roles 
when it goes to attack and how much damage it hits. I just find this is very interesting how, oh, I'm in the West. I need to go East. How this all works. Um, you know, I am going to fire the roses, I believe. You know, I think we're just gonna all attack the rose bee and see what happens when you, do you, does it randomly attack somebody else? That's basically what my question was going to be. Does it randomly attack uh, somebody else? Because some JRPGs, if you choose an enemy to attack and they're no longer there, then you don't get your attack. Um, let's do a smite. That sounds like a good idea. Ooh, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, we're doing pretty... We need to get back to... I don't think I have any health, and now Goliath is poisoned, it looks like. Ooh. One SP skill points. Can I make it back to... Oh, there it is. I found... I was way too high. Oh, no, right outside the castle. Uh-oh. Can I escape? I need to run. Oh, did I, did I miss... Oh, we got all healed up. We got a lot healed up, actually. Um... But let's see what my skills is. Magic, skills, okay, nothing. I got a skill point, but I don't know. Oh, wow. That is, increase your strength by 50 when wielding a, there is all kinds of interesting stuff. So where do I start with? So I think I want to start right here. I have these two, it looks like. These four things, I'm assuming, is what I'm starting with. So I could go that way and hit, do health and magic, or go spirit, or go strength. But he's my magic guy. So I'm thinking, like, hit points and magic by two, or hit points and magic by four. Can I do that? Yeah, I think I need two skill points here. That's kind of cool. That's a neat, uh, I don't know, neat, neat way to do it here. Um, let me think. Oh, should we run? You know, we're going to do and check out this little cave a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how much money. I don't think I got a lot of money quite yet. This is the place. The princess wanted to explore this cave on our last walk. She's probably here somewhere. This cave's likely got monsters. Australia, are you able to fight? Y yeah, I think so. Good then, let's go save a princess. I want that treasure chest right up there. That's what I want. Let's see if we can get up here to the treasure chest. Ooh, an ether. I forget what an ether does, but we can figure it out is the... So yeah, I've been getting into Diablo, or not Diablo, uh, Diablo's another RPG that, uh, ooh, oh, he's still poisoned or something. Uh-oh, that's not really good. Um, let's go with Smite the Scorpion, because the Scorpion, I think, uh, looks probably the strongest, and I was right. Um... So I've gotten in a lot of Dungeons and Dragons recently. I've been playing, I've been uh, playing, I play in right now in two campaigns um, at a local game store. And um, it's a lot of fun. I'm, you know, playing right now. I am playing both of them are Rangers, uh, which is, you know, kind of fun. I wish their Rangers were a little bit better. Um, but, you know, that's, I guess you kind of get antidote. That'll be helpful. I'm gonna run out and go back to town and see if sleeping will cure these little sickies I have. Goliath is no longer poisoned. Well, that's good. So it's so much time. Ooh, this is not going well here. Um, yeah, but I would really like to actually do a little bit of um, DMing at some point. I actually picked up the... Um, the starter kit and the essentials kit recently and um if i get the chance and get the people to come um you know to, to get the group together i would really like to do some dming on uh 
Dungeons and Dragons. I do do some um, level three. Okay, sweet. Um, I have a running a campaign with my kids, actually, my family, that is called Hero Quest, which is kind of like a very simplified version of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And we've been having a lot of fun with it. But we'll probably, once we get through the, um, you know, the modules that we have for Hero Kids, we will probably uh, switch over to Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I'm excited. I have a lot of fun so far. I want to see if she's still poisoned. Oh, she has a cure. Okay, that's good. I didn't know that. Um, so let's see. Let's go back here. Kill points. Three. So maybe I need to hit these first. Let's go. Aha, there we go. So let's go ahead and get... There's so much we could do here. I mean, so much. Um, do that. My magic points has got raised up just like that. Wow. Um, where's my health? How do I raise? See, if I go this way, health comes up more. There's so many ways to go. This is kind of crazy. That requires an assassin emblem, and what does this one require over here? A warlock emblem. That's interesting. Um, I think I'm going to keep him. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do more magic. I want to have him my magic guy. I like that. I like the skill trees. I think that's a really neat little thing. She has a little bit of magic. Um... Let's go ahead and do like, but she's attacking as well. Let's see what spirit does. Oh, that can do a little bit of hit points and magic points. Okay, and Goliath is gonna be our fighter. Uh, hopefully we keep him for a while. So let's do strength, hit points by six. Strength by three, hit points by six. So let's do it that way. There we go. Let's go for that. We're, we're a little bit low. How much money do I have? 31 gold. Hmm. I wonder how much those potions... Well, that's not what I was looking for. I was wondering how much the... Where was the potion shop? Was it their place to... Oh, was it in the... It was in the inn, I think. I think it was just right here, wasn't it? by a potion is oh four gold okay let's buy a few of these then um there how much is an antidote let's go ahead and grab a few of those as well three of those that's like yeah not very much uh does not leave me with very much but oh well that's i guess the way it's gonna go But let's go back to the... Okay, we got that. Oh, I didn't even want to go back out. That's my bad. Desert layer. Okay, let's... Is this... Okay, that's nothing. I'm wondering if these items were something specific. An antidote. Cool. Like, I, I could do something with the rock or the mushroom or... A little bit of... I like the graphics a, a lot in the game. Even though, like, it's an 8-bit kind of classic feel to it. I really like the um, uh, feel of it. So she has... Okay, so there's no skills she can do. She can cure. I really don't want to have her cure right now because that would not... I mean, really wouldn't be helpful. Uh, ice does a lot of damage to these guys. It seems like. Uh, which is really good. Uh, I like that. Now, his attack, I don't think does a whole lot, but we can see... 35 his ice definitely does like twice that so we'll probably stick with his magic and that's kind of the way i was pushing him so you know i'm not too worried about that i really probably am gonna need um something I wonder what essence does items do i have items okay so what does essence do 
drops from uh, used in crafting there is crafting as well in this game so it's kind of a merge between several games which makes it even more interesting it's like a jrpg uh with skill tree that has crafting so quite interesting uh aspects here nope i didn't want to do that i want to do magic um and uh the good thing about this is that um it shouldn't be too much but i mean the the one that's doing the most damage is the one that cost me the less ma magic so that's pretty cool i probably should have australia heal me up this time and see exactly how that works who do i cure how do i select oh okay so it's selecting one piece from the cure okay let's go ahead and cast it on him he's the lowest health he has the highest health but he's also the lowest uh right now so that's not a good thing yeah, you got some more experience. I wonder if I could find out where my equipment. No, it would be like status, I think. Current level, next level, 37 experience points. So we got power strength. This is kind of cool. Definitely a lot of interesting stuff here that we could uh, build upon. Um, nice, ooh, 20 Gs. Um, nice uh, setup. I like how they have it. So, ooh. Oh, I don't like that guy. Uh, we're going to use ice on this fire spirit. Probably would be a good thing. And no, nope, we don't want to cure. You know what? I might want to cure. But um, we're going to try to take a risk here. Oh, nope, he doesn't have any magic skills. Okay, attack. I went too far. I want to get rid of that fire spirit as quickly as I can because I'm expecting it to do quite a bit of damage. Ah, poisoning in. Fudgy Wudge. Um. Attack. I'm gonna have her cure again, Dylan. And then he's gonna attack the Rose. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Here it looks like. Ow. Here we go. And I think I'm gonna do that again here. Um. With her. And have her heal. Um, Goliath probably would be a good idea there just like that oh, oh ah she didn't get to heal him Ew, a ruby was found interesting I am a little bit of he's low on magic and Gli I can use a potion I believe on Goliath at this point here we go he's poisoned so I probably should use an antidote on him as well I'm gonna assume that does some kind of D, you know, debuff on him. It could be like he's just damaged every step we walk. That's a very common thing. Um, it could also be like in D&D, &D, uh, if you are poisoned, you have like disadvantage, I think, in on tax or something like that. So it could be something uh, akin to that. Uh, I was looking for a ladder and I didn't want to go over to the sandy area and get um, like something really bad. Ooh, a sword. Um, I wonder. What does she have on her? Um, optimize. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that gives her that iron. I guess it's an iron sword. It just said iron. I know there's probably a limitation on the amount of characters that they could use for these stuff. So, yeah, I understand that. Um, shoot. He really needs healed again. Goliath does. Unfortunately, the fire spirit is probably going to get out of here. I wonder if this magic is what the damage in the magic is if it's a set range if it matters how much um you know magic points that we have i mean there's a lot of different ways that this could be done and i'm intrigued um if it's just like your overall magic points determines how strong your magic effect is it some things like Typically, JRPGs are, um, uh, you, at least the ones that I have played, 
or if you get like a cure one does a certain range and a cure two does a higher range and a cure three does a higher range um it doesn't really matter how much anything else is you just it depends on that spell the spell gives you a specific uh range and that's all you can do uh so it might be that i don't know that's probably what i'd guess it to be but we will have to kind of continue to explore and find out what we get here uh we did get up a level so that was very helpful right there i really needed that level too um no way attack the rose i hope that we'll be able those two will be able to kill it um we're still pretty low in health um we're getting pretty good damage here too uh, I think it started us. I've played other games that you are given very little hit points to start out with. And I guess it all depends on the damage the characters do. I would rather have 110 hit points and be do like 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 at a time than having... I'm always like stressed out. Even if it's my max health point, if I start out with 10 health points and only get one damage each time I get hit... I'm much more stressed than if I had 110 and got 30. It just, I don't know why. I'm, that low number, like, bothers me. So I like that they do that. Ooh, I got a heart raise. I don't know what that means. I have no clue. what is that an item? What does that do? Removes KO. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you no problem ruby is crafting i would like to go craft some stuff i'm very intrigued in in this stuff let's i got a skill tree that i could do but i want to is it equip him is that how i do it okay so i can only have four spells at a time and there's two tech things i don't know what that means so that's kind of interesting as well um so interesting i am intrigued by what is all offered here um well skills yeah he really can't do anything yet in skills so at some point i'm assuming we get skills preemptive strike is that is that good i forget does that mean that we do good we get the uh preemptive strike or do they i forget on that one Oh, that's pretty good, but the, the freeze does a lot better on him. I think the freeze and the ice seems to do the most damage right now, which is good because it has the least amount of hit points. Um, and a lot of time, like D&D, &D, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, you use um, um, spell slots. So each spell uses up a certain spell slot and you start with, you know, so many in a level one spells and so many in level two spells and so on. Um, I've always been intrigued in that versus like a magic, like this has mana or mana potion or magic points or mana points or what, however you want to call it. But that sort of thing. And I've always kind of like, you know, which, which is the better way to do it. It's kind of interesting. I would like to see um, um, I think I would like to see um, uh, you know uh, Dungeons and Dragons with a magic point or a mana scenario instead of um, you know the, the uh, spell slots. I just think it would be an interesting um, change it would be definitely uh, different than what, you know, your normal um, situation is. I'm not sure. I think it's like 50 is what it does. Her magic, how much she heals. Ah, she's poisoned now. That's not good. 48. Okay, somewhere around 50. That wasn't too bad. But she's poisoned, which is not good. There we go. He's dead. Oh, I thought that would take him out. Oh, she needs healed badly right now. Unless I get an experience. Let's do an item. Um, potion. Yes. 
at least that and i'm gonna go ahead and take the poison off her as well yeah there is no ether oh we store some magic points so let's go ahead and do that she has a nine off and 15 let's wait i don't there's no reason to overdo it there antidote which is good because i just used one of my antidotes yeah i mean not yeah and getting attacked but yeah that i went the right way to get the chest um yeah we're gonna stick with this ice here nope attack and then goliath is gonna attack ah, we probably should uh but if i was hoping to get through this um these guys are not too hard, so I'm hoping that I can kill, cl clean them out fairly easily with um, just some regular attacks. There we go. So to save up on his exp uh, um, his magic a little bit, a buckler that's useful. If the very least I can sell it. Um, ah, I was hoping to get a little bit farther there. Um, hopefully, um, Astrea is going to need some more hit points here in a little bit. It looks like, yeah, ouch. She's going to have to heal herself. Oh, did I do something wrong there? I think I messed that up. She is going to cure herself. I really wanted that fire spirit dead, but somehow I missed out on that. Here we go. I'm, oh yeah we got a couple levels sweet so again we go back into our skill tree of dylan's dylan's gonna be my magic user how do i know if oh there's a square around the circles i have so i can go here and increase my intellect by three or go here and increase my intellect by three or there was some like i could do magic points there um agility and luck probably yeah avoid things um let's see what spirit yeah i could do magic points up here as well uh, might not be a bad idea three magic points yeah let's go ahead and open these up and goliath is gonna he's gonna be just like completely strength based and i'm gonna assume that strength is gonna increase my damage Sword Axe Mastery. Increases strength by 50 by wielding an axe or sword. That's pretty cool. Increase strength by 20% when above 90% health. Can I get to that? How do I get to that one right there? I want to this. Gives 20% chance to counterattack when struck. That's awesome. Um, the strength by three... Yeah, let's just go that. Strength by three. There we go. Let's fuel that out and just kind of make, try to make that counterattack. There's some pretty neat things here. Increase critical hit damage by 25%. Skill tree, what is she? She is going to be, I don't know where she's going to be. I, I think she's going to end up being like a middle road kind of person. Um, Like this way, maybe. I'm not sure what spirit does right now. Let's do that. Uh, still not sure about that. Ooh, I found another uh, dungeon. Ooh, there's the princess, I bet. I have to fight the bird. Princess. Goliath, where have you been? This idiot bird has been trying to feed me worms for hours. I get it. It's a griffin nest. Just hold on. We'll be right there. Yes, please hurry. This thing sickens me. A griffin. That's not good. I don't like that. Griffin. I, I gotta say, I love the pixel art on these animals. Top notch. Great work. I just the background. Uh, I know you don't have a lot to do on a, a NES style game, but this is good. Um, let's just stay with, I'm going to go after this 
Griffin um, first may not be the best thing to do, but I'm thinking he's going to do the most damage. The, the scorpions can poison me, but I feel that that Griffin's going to, I don't know, be able to do so much more. But we'll see. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Attack. It should go one through. We should be able to get rid of... Ouch! Like that. See, that Griffin just did damage to all three of us. Come on, die, you stupid Griffin. Oh, yes! 140, go Goliath. Woo! That had to have been some kind of critical there. Um... Yeah, she's going to start healing people, uh, Goliath. You know, heal her first. I think you want to heal the healer first so that she can continue to heal other people later. Uh, he's pretty low. Hopefully we can get her healed. Um, he doesn't have a cure, though. Um, let's try bolt on him. I don't know what that's going to do. She's going to try to use Cure on Goliath. He's pretty hurt. Hopefully she'll be able to get heal before. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, he didn't die. No. Um, Smite? I don't know. There, I don't think fire would really help here because it's a scorpion, desert, heat. The ice might be doing the best damage as is. So, ah, there we go. Ray's found and a topaz found. Sweet. Thank you. Thank God you're safe. I thought your mother was going to have my head on a pike. Oh, you deserve to have your head on a pike, you loot. Wow, that's not kind of uh, uh, fairly mean. And you brought two women to rescue me? Goliath, what were you thinking? Uh, I, uh, the queen herself requested the help. Uh, so I'm a man. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. Dylan's a man now. I was thinking, really? How odd. I have never seen a pretty man before. Okay. Uh, thank you for the compliment, princess. You may call me Primrose. Well, Primrose, Goliath, you will carry me home. The sand in my dress irritates me as I walk. Wow. Of course, princess. That's kind of... Harsh. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that I didn't have to go back out of the cave. That's another thing. A lot of old JRPGs in the N NES era, you, you once you were in a cave, you had to walk all the way back out of it, and it was horrible. It's so great. It's so great to have them just pop you out like that. Thank you, Dylan and Estrella, for rest returning my daughter to me. It was our honor. They were rather slow in retrieving me. For this, I would like that woman over here to become my servant. She's not very nice. Primrose is a little bit of a jerk. Uh, she's joking, right? Honestly, I can't tell. Actually, I have a different plan for all of you. Ooh, a plan from the queen. The wheels of change are in motion. I feel my kingdom will continue to fall behind despite my best efforts. My daughter must be prepared to lead Zemesti once I am no longer able. That time will come very soon. She is not yet ready. <clears throat> Dylan, Estrella, take my daughter to see the world. Let her witness what has transpired in our 300 yeah, absence. Oh, that's going to make Primrose mad. Mother, you can't be serious. My queen, are you sure about this? We've only just met these two. They are trustworthy. I can see it in their eyes. You will go as well, Goliath. There's my four. There's my four party members. De facto four party members. Do you accept? I don't think we have a choice. Uh, hmm, I would like a moment to think if you don't mind. That is fine. Return to me when you are ready. Thank you. Australia, I'll be back in a few minutes. 
So what am I gonna do? Hmm. No, no, no. Am I Primrose? Oh, I'm Primrose. Okay. I didn't know I was supposed to be Primrose. I was like, I was waiting for him to come back. Um. Interesting. This way leads to the Queen's personal chambers. No one is allowed except the Queen, the Princess, and her personal bodyguard. Well, fine. Be that away. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. That is going to make it that. How do you feel, young Astrea? Will you allow my daughter, daughter to accompany you? I am not sure. I'll let Dylan decide. That is fine. I believe you both will make the right choice. Interesting. So I've got to figure out what to do in the meantime. Oh. So how'd it go? The queen seems all right. She acts normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. That's a good sign. She will need to observe. She'll still, we need to observe for a while longer. Actually, the queen wants me to take the princess out to see the world. And the other girl, Estrella? I'd like to help her find out who she is. You haven't told her about me, have you? No, she never saw you on the ship. I figured it'd be best not to tell her about what we're doing. Ah, are we trying to overthrow the queen? Are we? Hmm. Good. Keep it that way. Anyway, you have a good idea. You go learn more about the princess and the other girl. Meanwhile, I'll work on infiltrating the castle. Yeah, oh, we're going to overthrow this monarch. There's your friend over there. Good luck. Thanks, Dad. Oh, me and my dad made my pops. My, me and my pops are going to throw over the queen. What? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just needed a moment alone to think. I've made up my mind. We can show the princess around like the queen wants. At the same time, we can help you find yourself. Sounds good? Yes, but why? Why am I helping you, you mean? Well, I've always wanted to go on an adventure. I've spent most of my life living on an island. Sounds like a typical D&D &D starter as well. Hey, you gotta get hook those people in somehow. We're all starting off at a tavern. <laughs> Not to mention, it's hard to pass up an opportunity to travel with the princess. She's kind of cute, you know. I'm not interested in learning who you are as well. Oh, I am interested in learning who you are as well. Is that all right? Oh, that was done. An adventure does sound nice. Yes, thank you, Dylan. I gotta get my voice acting uh, under control. Cool, let's go tell the queen our answer. Let's do that. We've made our decision. Excellent. Primrose and Goliath are ready to leave. I wasn't exactly planning to leave so suddenly, but sure, I suppose I'm ready. I'll have you know I can take care of myself. You'll not be needing to rescue me again. Good to hear. I pray this journey will be at least entertaining. Where are you taking us first? I was thinking we'll make our first stop at Westvale. It's the first town we'll come across once we head northeast out of the desert. Then now let us go. Hmm, interesting. Primrose and Goliath has joined the party. Woohoo! I think we're going to go over there and jump in the inn, make sure we're all healed up nice and comfy and stuff. And, um, save it. You want to make sure you save. And then I think we're going to call it uh, an episode. I do appreciate you all coming out and watching tonight. Uh, today. Watching. Yeah, today. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you next time as we explore some more of Night Eternal. Thank you all, and bye, everybody.